The Ireland women's basketball team made a bold statement during their Eurobasket 2025 qualifier in Riga by refusing to shake hands with the Israeli team. Instead of participating in the traditional pre-match handshake, the Irish players stood by their bench during the national anthem, rather than at the center of the court. This decision came after Israel player Dor Saar accused the Ireland team of being quite anti-Semitic. Basketball Ireland, the governing body for basketball in Ireland, swiftly responded to the situation. They labeled SARS comments as inflammatory and wholly inaccurate. In a statement before the match, Basketball Ireland announced that their players would not engage in the usual pre-match arrangements, including handshakes and gift exchanges. Instead, they lined up for their national anthem beside their bench, emphasizing their support for the team's decision. The match proceeded despite external pressure for a boycott. It had been moved to Riga due to the ongoing conflict in Gaza. Earlier, Basketball Ireland CEO John Fian had warned that boycotting fixtures with Israel would result in heavy fines and potential expulsion from the competition. He expressed concern that such a boycott could harm Ireland's women's international game for the next decade. In an interview, Israeli player Dorsar stated, It's known that they are quite anti-Semitic, and it's no secret. She emphasized the need for Israel to demonstrate their strength on the court. The backdrop of this sporting event is a complex geopolitical context, with casualties on both sides during the conflict. Ultimately, the Ireland women's basketball team's refusal to shake hands with Israel became a powerful expression of their stance, transcending the boundaries of sports and reflecting broader societal issues. The game itself ended with Israel securing a victory, winning 87-57.